Northern Ireland businesses have come together in an unprecedented collaboration to work with our politicians to transform the local economy. Working under the banner of Grow NI, they have a single shared goal, the campaign to reduce corporation tax. We've been lobbying politicians and senior government ministers, taking the case to the opinion formers and policy makers. While there is no silver bullet, if you're looking for a significant game changer, uh, the power over corporation tax is the only thing that is on the horizon. The issue central to corporation tax is rebalancing our economy between the public and private sector uh, and ensuring that we have a, a vibrant economy that can grow. Uh, and that's a big issue and I haven't seen any other propositions being brought forward that will have the same impact as corporation tax powers would. Northern Ireland's economy is plagued with many difficulties which are outside of its control. Well I think the whole executive is incredibly committed to corporation tax because we have seen the evidence as, as the small business community have uh, that it could really be a, a game changer for the Northern Ireland economy uh, and I know the members of the Federation understand that it's not just about big business it's about small businesses as well because if there is the corporation tax benefit to Northern Ireland then we will see a lot of the smaller companies become suppliers to the bigger companies and there are great opportunities then uh, for those companies. Well Sinn Féin are very supportive and have expressed their support in transferring uh, fiscal levers generally to the Assembly. I think if we want to respond to economic difficulties we need to have that ability to control fiscal levers. Corporation tax powers are a key component of that. They're not the complete answer to our economic woes but they're a very strong component of, of being able to shape our own economy to match our own needs uh, and so we are very supportive that those powers be transferred and I think it is important that there is momentum in the, the process that's, that's ongoing uh, to, to have the powers transferred but also to give that strong signal to business that these powers will be transferred, they, they will be enacted, we will try and harmonise corporation tax rates across this island and, and that I think in turn gives business the encouragement and the confidence to invest here and that's essentially what the devolution of corporation tax powers are about, is about getting inward investment and stimulating economic growth. Our job, I believe, as politicians is to listen to small business people and ask them what circumstances, what environment we need to create for them to grow and to prosper. So you know that we've been leading the charge for corporation tax, but that is only one measure in what I believe should be a basket of measures, and that basket is actually the economic enterprise zone that the Secretary of State has promised us. And what we need to hear from small business is what else goes into that basket? Uh, do we cut red tape? I think we do. Uh, do we have rates relief? What other measures? And let's be imaginative about what else we put into that basket to create the environment where small businesses can grow and prosper. Yes, I do believe power should be devolved. I believe that that whole debate has to open up and I, I think that we have to, there's two dimensions to it. First of all, the benefits of the corporation tax, but secondly, and more importantly, that it devolves responsibility down onto the ground here where local people can take local decisions in local interests. And I would strongly urge the Minister for Enterprise, Trade and Investment and indeed the Executive as a whole to put more support into small business, growing small business in such a way that small business becomes medium business and medium business becomes big business. We may even be joined by some opposition. The big issue at the moment is corporation tax. Do you feel that there's a sense within Westminster that they will press ahead and will give the powers to the executive? Well, my instinct would be that it's more a case of how and when than if it's going to be devolved and I would hope that that's the case, that's certainly the noises that we've been having when we've asked the question from Treasury. I think it's important that we do get it at the right price because there is a cost to it and we need the flexibility to be able to reduce it when we bring it to Northern Ireland so that we can actually make it an attractive prospect for people who are looking to inwardly invest or to expand their business. And you make the point there about it being a cost, but a lot of people I think in business are looking at it and saying, well, actually, no, it's an investment. It's an investment in jobs. And the Northern Ireland balance sheet, if you like, won't change as a result of the, the money transferring from public sector control to private sector control. Do you have sympathy with that analysis? I would. And I think what we also have to recognise is that if you grow the pie and you take a smaller slice of the pie, overall, you can end up getting more. And I think that's what we're really aiming for with corporation tax. The Secretary of State believes a tax cut is essential to boost our local economy. Well, I've been absolutely clear there are world-class businesses in Northern Ireland. We just haven't got enough of them. We've got huge advantages. We've got the peace process settled down. We've got stable politics. We've got the English language. We've got very good telecommunications. We've got Project Kelvin giving the best broadband across the UK. 
we got two cracking universities and got the Open University. You've got an education system which delivers 10% better GCSEs and A-levels than the rest of the UK. But you've still got this problem with business being attracted to the other side of the border by corporation tax. So I am absolutely convinced that there is no single bullet, but having corporation tax powers here, giving the executive the power to reduce tax and make Northern Ireland competitive the Republic would be a massive bonus. Every business I go to in Northern Ireland is generally very pleased with the workforce, the dedication, the skills. That's not a problem. We just need more of them. And I know absolutely clearly that if we have a reduction in corporation tax, we will see more business activity from indigenous businesses and we will bring in fresh business. The business community and the political parties are united in wanting to see corporation tax powers devolved. We will give full support to our local politicians to be bold, to take these powers and to cut the rate. This is a unique opportunity to transform the Northern Ireland economy and allow our businesses to compete on the world stage.